frame 13, that's going to be particularly difficult in the face of a character who wants to get fully in your face. So as we get into this one, it is going to be Lorenzo with the Ike and AC with the Meta Knight. All right, and already right, both of them going out. An unsafe Nair is going to eat a down throw. Bear into the combos. Here we go. Are we going to see him go off the side? The fair is going to kill. And, you know, I was saying he doesn't have those ladder combos, but the bridges are definitely there. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. AC showing no mercy with his character. He loves to keep it in this repertoire, and you can see why. Yeah, and just poking away at Lorenzo's shield with those down tilts right there. Eventually, Lorenzo is going to be able to throw out the up the ass shield. But here we go once again. Lorenzo is holding in. He does not want to go off stage. You have to be willing to DI out on the first couple of up airs. Yeah, quick drop up rolls right into that F smash and goes oh. deep with oh. the tornado. That's two stocks gone within 50 seconds. Damn, AC showed up for this mid tier bracket right oh now. Oh my god, he he's gonna do it again. Oh, oh no! no! AC! You didn't have to style on Lorenzo. <laughs> Look like at Lorenzo! That. He looks <laughs> stunned! That's the first match of the day. AC with a wry smile there. It is 10 in the morning. No one is awake enough for that. It's Why is AC ready for, those for this? kinds of highlights? Jeez. You see, it's the first game of the day, man. Jeez. AC just saying, I didn't drive all the way from San Diego to go out round one, man. Apparently, he didn't drive from San Diego to drop a stock. Oh, my God. He all right, so Lorenzo sticking with the Ike. I'm um, going to be running it to Smashville. This is generally a good stage for Ike. Giant Sword makes it really difficult to avoid on such a small stage. Yeah, with these specifically sized Blast Stones, it makes Quick Draw a tiny bit easier, provided that your opponent can't edge guard as easily. But with Meta Knight, that may not be as much of a factor. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I believe Meta Knight's jab actually just makes it impossible for Ike to grab the ledge. Oh, he went for it. Okay, good DI from Lorenzo that time. Avoids the drill rush. AC kind of laughing it off. Like, okay, okay, you can have that stock. Quick, I Maybe come back. All right, tries to catch the Aether on the way up with the Foot Smash, but it's not going to happen. Dash Shack into the Uppy. Not going to kill. I Kind of a heavy boy still. Yeah, actually, he's pretty heavy. Smashville does have a fairly low top blast zone compared to the rest of our rule set, but Shuttle Loop not quite enough to take him off the top there as he goes in with that fair. All right, catches the jump with a backer. Baits one, throws another one to actually connect, and it will. They grab to get something started into the fair as well. AC still sitting in a relatively low percent, so some of these throw combos from Ike are going to be online. Right, down throw, goes for the Nair into the fair. Actually, really nice extension on the platform. Dimensional hit to get around that one. Waits out the dash attack, and that time the spot dodge is going to lead to the Aether out of Trio. All right, dash attack. Here comes the combos. Once again, AC catching the DI in from Lorenzo that time, able to react. Ooh, <clears throat> that's unfortunate. Yeah. Air dodge goes deep to the tornado once again. AC reclaims the lead. Yeah, and these edge guards for AC have just been on point. Every time Lorenzo goes off stage, I don't think he's coming back. Similar to I didn't think he was coming back. Nice little trip from AC. Yeah, Shuttle Luke covers a fair bit of distance here as he goes off stage with the back door, charges up the eruption, and goes to the dimensional kit to get around it. Yeah, and that's what I was wanting to bring up earlier is there's just so many ways for AC to get back to stage that it's basically impossible for Lorenzo to ever go out there and edge guard him. Where on the other hand, Lorenzo doesn't have more than two ways to get back to stage, and they're both very telegraphed. You pretty much need to commit to one right away, especially in this particular matchup. You could start another ladder, but air dodge to get around it. And AC throwing up these forward smash. He tries to roll away, but Lorenzo caught on the first time, says the second time won't happen. He's going to poke through, but not going to stop that upbeat. Hasn't caught on top of the platform. Lorenzo fishing for some of these nares. I quick draw. It looks for another one, but AC lands on the platform. I like the Dara shield. Shuttle looks to put Lorenzo at 81%. Has to find some way to land in. Does with the Tomahawk grab. 
I have tilt gonna force him off. He's gonna go low. Can AC find the forward smash? No, but can he keep the lit trap going? Quick draw on stage, ill advised, and that's another down throw, forcing Lorenzo back off. He finally rolls on, but AC is just still on top of him. And there you see AC using this forward smash. It's minus six on shield. Very, very safe option if you can yeah, avoid the start. Actually up. crazy. There's just so many forward smashes coming from AC. It's, mm. The worst part is I know it's gonna work eventually. I mean, with the amount of times he's throwing them out, you can event. Lorenzo, his just goal, avoid that move at all costs. Oh, Lorenzo actually was looking so nice right there with the double near on the platform, but wasn't able to chase AC all the way up. No, that's such a huge miss for AC, but Lorenzo not able to punish. Actually missing some of these techs, but not going to matter as he air dodges right into that back air. AC, a bit closer than the first game, but he's going to complete okay, the duo. Honestly, honestly, that first game, AC made Man Knight look like a top 10 character broken. But that last stock reminded us.